dimension sets where we built financial dimension sets and then we generated the balances. So after generating the balance, I mean generating the balance for the financial dimension set, we have went into trial balance to track the balances. So I'm here in MRF. I'll go to trial balance. Yeah, where is trial balance? Trial balance is an inquiry, so it will be under inquiries and reports. So understand the basic construction of the module. So always you will have process activities in the first place or the master data in the first place. Then the configurations are always under setup menu. OK, here we have ledger setup, journal setup and posting setup, three different setups. I mean here in general ledger, whereas it comes to accounts payable and accounts receivable, we will have different. I mean setup and pay, payment setup, charges setup will have under setup. So configurations will be always under setup kind of mostly. And I mean, except general ledger because in general ledger it is vast and there are different uh, areas where we configure. Whereas coming to other modules, mostly configuration will be under setup. OK, then we have second menu always called inquiries and reports. So inquiries and reports. will always hold the first we'll have inquiries and later we will have certain reports related to them. Uh, related to that particular module or the data that is posted in that particular module. So then we have some periodic tasks in each module. Then mostly that will be the menu. So process activities will have. Then uh, we'll have inquiries and reports and we'll have setup. So these are the few menus that you have to remember. Then. So we were discussing this financial dimension sets. So in trial balance, we will add this financial dimension set and fetch some balances for the particular period in a trial balance. So in trial balance, as I told you, you can run the trial balance from any date to any date, but within one fiscal year. OK, you can't select the starting date of last fiscal year and ending date of today's this fiscal year and that will not work. So the date should be within the fiscal year or the date range that you select. OK, so I'm selecting 1st of January 2021 to 31st December 2021 since we are following January to December calendar here in this legal entity. OK, here we can select the financial MRF. Plus cost center we have created main account plus location and department we created main account plus only location we have created. We have created three dimension sets and then we have clicked on that uh, built values and that automatically build values for that particular dimension set. So suppose now if I go for this main account plus cost center, if I click on calculate balances. I can see the balances in main account plus cost center combination. So here we go. Mostly we did not use cost centers actually. We did not use it at all. I think so. <laughs> and we use at least one cost center. No. So let me see for this cost main account plus. Location OK, calculate balances. Yeah, we have main account. Only main account balance then main account plus location value combination balances we have. So for each main account again we have the same kind of construction. So if you want to track balances for only one main account, what what will we do? Anyone? Or I want balances of only one location. So what will I do or what can I do? OK, I'm going to location and to filter the Hyderabad location, which is of 100 value. OK. One second. It's taking some time. So 100 apply. Here you can see. So within the list of main accounts. I want to see only the revenue accounts then. Four. Okay, revenue. We know that revenue accounts begins with four, so we will filter the revenue account. I mean, we'll I'll give the condition as begins with and select four. And I have four rev two accounts. Business revenue and sales revenue, and this is the amount that I earned from Hyderabad location for January to December. Here, it's easy to track. The same way, I'll go back again to financial dimension sets where we have constructed dimension sets. 
which where I feel like we missed few points there. Let us see. So how can I check? OK, general ledger, chart of accounts and dimensions and financial dimension sets we have. Dim under dimensions within within dimensions, we have financial dimension sets. So if I click on this, I can see what we have configured already. So going for MRF, where did we configure them? So they are here MRF location, main account plus location. So generally, when we create any any financial dimension set, we'll get that option called create balances. So what happens when we click on create balance? It will run a batch job and it will create the balances for that particular combination. Main account plus location or main account plus location and department for all the combinations. We also have few other options here: rebuild balances, update balances, clear balances like that. So you can rebuild the balances, which means so generally when we create balances for this dimension set, the balances will be saved in a temporary table for that particular dimension financial dimension set combination. The balances will be saved in a backend table. It is a temporary table. If I click on rebuild balances, system will erase those balances in that backend table and it will again build or create new balances according to that particular date. OK, you can also go for update balances. So rebuild means it will build from scratch. Update balances means it generally updates the new transactions quickly into the combination. So that's what update balances do. So mostly it's two steps process. Actually, when you want to apply financial dimension set to any trial balance, first come here, update the balances, then go and apply it. And then that then in case if system did not refresh any balances here, this is one option. System usually does refresh all the balances, but in case if it does not, and if you want to be sure that every balance is updated for that particular date, first come here, select the dimension set, click on update balances. So it will take some time and it will update update balances then go to trial balance and select this dimension set and use it then it will give you accurate balance okay you can also use this option clear balances it will generally clear the balances that are saved in the temporary table that's all then again you have to rebuild the balances if you want to check it so the, you can also use this option in case if you feel like the balance has shown are wrong or if you want to delete everything and rebuild the balances then you can use this option clear balances so mostly the inquiries team or the backend team will I mean not back in terms of the in the users they'll prepare reports right so those kind of users team will or the reports team will access this page mostly I mean the trail balance page and go for the balances. And that would be the end to financial dimension sets do practice with.